So today I want to show you two sets of modules from the Secret Cell collection, the modulator set, which are interesting LFO modules, and the holder set, which are unique sample and hold and track and hold modules. They are great for adding movement and variation to any patch, and they are available for free, so I highly recommend checking them out. And let's start with the LFOs. So the main module in this set is the modulator 7 that gives us 7 LFOs and they are all related to the same clock, to the same rate, but each has its own settings and rate control, right? So we can change the phase, for example, we can change the shapes, right? And again, individual rate control, it can go quicker or slower than the main rate here we can change them also to be bipolar or not and scale also again per lfo so they interact in various ways right here i have an example i have here four vcv vcos that are differently tuned and they go also to two vcfs or two filters that are panned left and right so i can use for example four LFOs to control the VCAs of the oscillators, bringing them in and out, right? So I can use this here. By the way, this is the scope module signals from CV Funk, which is quite useful in this case, right? So now I have four LFOs. In this case, they are exactly the same. Let me unmute this, right? And then bring the voices in and out or each individual VCO in and out with the built-in VCA on the mixer. Right, but now, for example, I can change the phase of the LFOs, right? So they are all, all four of them are out of phase from one another. Now, first of all, I will change the phase. So here I will leave this at zero, right? And then let's say 90, each of them will be offset by 90 degrees. So 90, 180, and then 270. And now again, still nothing changes. We have to reset things. So I will just reset the module and now I hope you can see this here and also on the scope and also hear it right now we get four LFOs you can see this also here quite nicely that are out of phase from one another right I can also have two more LFOs modulating the filters let's close them a bit right again change them to be um, out of phase right so the first one will stay at zero and then let's have this at 180 and again we have two reset things right maybe also make them bipolar right we can change their rate also right so they are also let's say a bit slower than the other LFOs and also from one another. Right, so we get something full of movement. We can also sync the LFOs, the modulator 7. Right here I have a sequence with ions, sequencing hours, also from CV Funk, by the way. Right, it will sound like this. I have here the modulator 7 synced to the clock, right, and then I have all sorts of modulation here with it, I'm modulating a stereo VCA, and also some parameters here on Aorus, right, and again this is synced to the clock, and I can choose to have this divided or multiplied from the clock, also in the right click menu you have uh, presets of different rates, so this you can also experiment with. Now, um, this is also a polyphonic module, the modulator 7, right? So you can use this for polyphonic modulation. Here, for example, I have slips sequencing the FM operator and slips can be also polyphonic in the right click menu. I have it set to seven voices of polyphony. And also here on the modulator 7, I have pol uh, polyphony set to 7, and here there is the polyphonic output. You can see we have 7 individual LFOs, again, each with their own controls. You can see this also here quite clearly on the VCA that I'm using with another modulator 7. Let me unmute this already. 
right so you can also use this for polyphonic modulation again change the various settings per lfo and here you can also again use them individually without polyphony if you want As I mentioned before, there are two more modules in this set, so there is mode and mode 7. Mode is basically one channel of the modulator 7 with various controls, and mode 7 is a slim version of modulator 7, and in this case you have control only over the rate. So here I have three mod modules, right, I'm cross-fading between two of them with the fade module here um, from VCV, right? So I'm cross-fading between two of them. They are all synced to the clock, as you can see here, and I'm using a third one for the cross-fading, right? This is modulating a filter. Let me unmute this already. Right, you can hear the modulation morphing between two different rhythms. So again, this is modulating uh, the filter, the cutoff of the filter here. Right now, the mod 7 is also great for quick polyphonic modulation. Here I have the chord key from Impromptu generating a four note chord. Right, so we have polyphony of four notes. This is um, sequencing the classic VCO or just sending the chord to the classic VCO. So we have again polyphony of four voices. And I have three mod 7 modules set in the right-click menu to polyphony of four. So we have per voice different modulation, a different LFO with a different rate, right? So sound like this. So again, uh, in this case, for example, I'm modulating the frequency of the filter. This will have four different channels, each channels, each channel or each note with a different LFO. It's also really fun to create sorts of ARPs with the mod 7, right? So here I'm using the quantizer, also from Secret Cell, by the way. To quantize LFOs, I have here in the right-click menu, again, set to polyphony of four. So I'm sending this to the quantizer, which will quantize the LFO, uh, or the LFOs in this case, and will create sorts of ARPs. Now this uh, quantizer, by the way, has also an interesting feature. It has sorts of uh, programs, so snapshots, so I'm sequencing them with the ADDR sequencer. So this will sound like this. Let's take a look now at the other set of modules with sample and hold and track and hold and we will start with the holder module. So again we have sample and hold or track and hold, we have scale and offset, we have probability and in the right click menu we can choose between two different types of noise, full or centered. Maybe the most common uh, use of a module like this is to generate random pitch, right? So here I have the twist VCO. I'm already triggering here the holder module with my clock, right? So I can just send this through the quantizer. In this case, again, I want to use it for pitch. So maybe I will take also the scale a bit down so it's not going all the way up and down. And here we have also a trigger output that I can use to trigger the twist VCO. Right, and now already what I can do is I can set some probability to get more spaces between the notes, right? If I take the probability all the way left, we have nothing, right? So the probability will 
control the change in notes, but also the trigger output. So now I can add just a bit. And we have more space between the notes. Right, something like this. Now the probability and scale and offset, they all have CV control. Right, so here I'm using it, I'm using a holder module to generate a sort of a burst of random notes. Right, I have here a clock division that I'm using to set the probability. So it's uh, set to zero, the probability, but then with the clock division, it will go up and will create a sort of a burst of notes. And I'm using the ADDR sequencer to sequence the scale and offset. So with each burst, we get a sort of a different range of notes. Let me unmute this. Right, so again, this is going through the quantizer, and in this case, I'm using the Pony VCO as my voice. Right, so again, it's set to zero, the probability is set to zero, so there is no change in pitch, there are no triggers coming out, but with the clock division, I'm bringing the probability up and creating a sort of a burst of random notes. Now again we have also track and hold. In this case I'm using the smaller version of the holder module. This is also available. It's basically the same but just without the CV inputs. Right? So if you want to save space and you don't need the CV inputs you can use this as well. And again it has also track and hold which I'm using here. Right? So it will track and with the gate it will hold the sequence. So in this case I'm using a the Penta sequencer and I'm using it to gate this sequencer. This is also from CV Funk. Right, let me unmute this and I will show you everything what's going on here. Right, so I have here five steps, a five step sequence on the Penta sequencer, but only a four step sequence on the ADDR that is gating the track and hold, right? So it will always um, hold the sequence in different points and you will get a bit more variation. The voice itself is the VCO going through a bandpass filter and of course I'm using the mod 7 for some movement. And I have here also a sort of a bass drone with Oros. And again, also here we have a bigger module, in this case with eight channels, each with various controls. Also here we have probability, scale, offset, right? Each can be sample and hold or track and hold. Uh, a nice technique you can try is creating harmonies with multiple sample and holds. So this module is perfect for this. Here I have a simple eight step sequence with the ADDR sequencer. And I'm using this as the input signal to four sample and hold channels. Now I'm triggering each of the uh, channels differently. Here I have the eight step trigger sequencer. So here I have once a seven step sequence, once five, once four, and once three. Right, so each of them is being triggered differently and this will create, uh, create the harmonies. Right, so I have here four. VCOs here that I'm using each with a different each will get a different note from the sample and hold you can hear the chords we get now it's also possible to use this module as a noise source, right? If you don't connect anything to the input, the built-in noise uh, will be used also when using track and hold. So here I'm using this as track and hold, I'm triggering it or gating it with the clock. 
And I also have some probability set, so it's not just uh, playing all the time. Let me unmute this. Right, and then I'm sending this through a bandpass filter and some delay. Maybe make this a bit louder. Right, so again, if you don't connect anything, this will generate noise. And when you use this as track and hold, you will get the actual noise output. Right, and of course there are many more things you can try with sample and hold and track and hold. For now I have here a few ARPs. Again, I'm uh, sampling in this case the mod 7 with the holder 8. Um, right, sampling the LFOs to create sorts of uh, arpeggios. In this case I have bezel as my voice, lots of polyphonic modulation. Right, and that's it. I hope you will go and explore these modules. Uh, thank you again, Secret Cell, for this lovely collection. Thanks for watching. Cheers.